Hey, what's up guys? How's everyone doing today? I'm doing okay here. Thank you for asking. Well, I guess I'm doing okay. I just have a lot on my mind. Uh, probably not going to ride bikes today. I'm going to go walk around the park. I'm going to maybe shoot some basketball. What have you. I'm, uh, not feeling the old bike today. I'm not feeling much of anything today. But I feel like I need a video for some reason and I haven't figured it out yet. So hopefully I'll get my thoughts together soon and uh, we'll get to uh, discuss whatever's on my mind, how many things are on my mind, and what have you. So Let's start our day out with a car ride to the park. We'll see you there. Well, here we are at the park. Yeah, just a lot of things on my mind. Uh, from work. To my kids, to my wife, to myself, to our country. Uh, just a lot going on in my brain. And some of it really is for nothing. You know, there's only so much we can control in our lives. And uh, other people are not one of them. You know, uh, one thing is, you know, years ago, me and my kids did stuff all the time together. And once they hit, you know, 16, 17, once they got up there in their mid to upper teens there, it's, things have pretty much died out between us. You know, I had them with me all the time and went to the park and played video games and, you know, rode bikes around the house way back then and just uh you know they wanted to be around me they wanted to have a relationship and and all that and you know it's hard to even after all this time it's still hard to get used to you know basically them not really wanting anything to do with me they are I guess 22 and 25 now and they have their own lives and they work and stuff but it's not like they have their own lives and they're busy 24 hours a day they have their own lives and well my oldest son actually lives with us and his girlfriend and their two kids My youngest son he comes over to visit a couple times a week and that mostly his mom they were always closer so it's just uh it's still after all these years just kind of a rough transition getting used to not really being of any importance to them and my nephew Brandon kind of fits in there as well. He he used to stay with us like every weekend. And we'd all play games and go to the park and do all kind of stuff and stay up late and have a good time. And so those kind of memories, you know, they're uh, stuck in my mind. It's hard to get past them sometimes. You know, uh, I tell people all the time, I'm a loner, and a loner's got to be alone. You know, that dumb commercial. 
that's kind of me and it has been really for years and I tell everybody I'm okay with it and well I'm really not I miss my family time <sighs> I guess a lot of parents go through this and I just always thought we'd be closer you know I tried to be a good dad I wasn't perfect I did I did things like you know well typical me I think something's funny and it's not always funny or I didn't have a lot of patience sometimes so I might be might have said something kind of <coughs> you know whatever I don't know it's hard to explain I never cussed or anything never went off on them or anything bad or anything like that just kind of typical how I am and how I react and and did things sometimes but I wouldn't think that that would have much to do with anything I was a pretty good dad so I don't know that's just that's one thing that's on the mind Another thing, my wife. <sighs> Her just getting epilepsy out of nowhere is just mind blowing still to this day. I just have to accept that things like this just happen in our lives just out of nowhere. You're about to get something accomplished in life and then something else hits you. And uh, it's, it's just how we are. It's not real surprising. And she's having a, she has a dental problem. That's, that's, you know, not, making her feel any better about herself and uh, so that's another issue and as far as her health wise concerning other things all she does is drink soda and coffee and she eats whatever she wants and I just worry about her 24-7 uh, I can't help it. That's just how I am. I worry about her. So that's pretty much where my mind is most of the time. <sighs> then you got our country the shape it's in just different things you can't really expect anything to get better things don't normally get better Things typically get worse and then if something does happen to get better then something else comes along that's worse we just have to face reality as far as myself goes I'm not the same person I was years ago it's painfully obvious I have changed drastically the world has changed me marriage has changed me my kids have changed me just time has changed me my mom and grandma dying has changed me you know a 
Life ain't easy at all. And it's really not supposed to be difficult, in my opinion. There's nothing wrong with wanting life to be fair. Wish things would change. And another thing that confuses me and keeps me, I don't know, depressed, confused, whatever, is how I feel in my heart and mind a lot of times. For the most part mentally physically emotionally if you were to ask me how I feel mentally Not crazy wise, but just mentally. Intellectually, maybe. I don't know. I would tell you that I'm I'm in between the ages of 10, 15, and 20. And although I am an adult, and I do pretty decent at adulting, I'm still mentally in that age group where it's difficult for me to make, you know, whatever the word is. Uh, I don't even know the word. <laughs> it's just weird finding yourself having thoughts of a 10 year old or a 15 year old or a 20 year old whenever you're fixing to be 48 years old. And it's just, it's kind of hard to live with and to even explain, really. You just, you don't really know what to expect in life, you know? Like, at the age of 25, where my oldest son is now, i never seen my life like this at all. i never seen me mentally like this. I don't know. Hard to even explain. And yeah, my summer's coming to a close. For those of you that don't know, I'm a school bus driver. We start back oddly and stupidly enough Friday, this Friday. And it's only a half a day. Why they do things like that, I'll never understand. But, uh... I'm not really looking forward to it, you know?
I can't say I'm super happy with my job. Uh, we're extremely underpaid. We get no help really on the bus. We don't really have a whole lot of say so on the bus. You know, I might be okay with where I work if we had monitors that rode the bus with us that could help us take care of the kids. Because trying to handle a bus with 30, 40, 50 or so kids is just really difficult. And uh, I don't know how drivers have done it all these years without having helpers. But, yeah, basically we have 180 days of school, which equals to about 10 months. And you probably think that's great. And yeah, that is great. We got it pretty easy with that. It just, you know, feeling underappreciated and, and not getting help like we wish we could. Uh, my salary is fairly embarrassing. And I'm sure as a 16 year old working a part time job or whatever after school, you made as much or more than me. With all the training that we have to do and getting the license in general in the first place, and the kids that we got to put up with. You know, we're worth more. We're supposedly the most important people on the road. Carrying precious cargo. The world's most precious cargo. But our pay doesn't reflect it. just a whole slew of things that's on my mind and sometimes it's just it's the way it is but I'm like this all the time mostly what you see on my videos is me basically and I hate to say it it's me almost faking being happy uh, I do have moments and also if you don't know I do suffer from depression which is a large chunk of what this channel is for is to help people you know to get positive but at the same time I'm a work in progress I'm no different than anyone else uh, Uh, it's a tangled and weird little world that we live in and it's crazy how important and serious and complicated things are for such a short period that we're here but let's face it we're here today gone today in reality we're not here but just a blink of an eye
Yeah, I would go across the road on the bike trails or hiking trails, whichever you want to call them. But I don't feel like fighting ticks. So, and that's why you don't see me doing any trail riding. I'm just not going to fight the ticks. And normally you, you end up having mosquitoes out there even more than here. And just getting attacked. Spider webs across the trail and everything. So. Basically, I'm going to save all that for uh, fall and winter. That's why you don't see a whole lot of variety in my riding. And I'm mostly a roadie to some degree anyway. And it was just a, a lot of things that you wish that you could change. And you simply just can't do it. You can't go back in time. DeLoreans have not gotten to that stage yet. And there's nothing nothing you can really do about things you just continue to try to push through I guess every day until your time here on this earth is done and that's when you finally get to rest your mind Your mind can destroy your life. It can run your life and it can ruin it and it can totally change reality into something that's not really reality sometimes. And I have a bad habit of doing that. You know, a lot, a lot of times, a lot of times, I just wish I could cry and just let it out. And I've tried crying. I know it sounds weird. I've tried to just let myself cry. And all I get is maybe a tear out of my eye. That's it. I just, I don't know. I can't cry anymore. My feelings have been uh, I don't know they've been crushed they've been dismantled uh, I'm not the same person I was years ago Well, by the time I get back to the car, I'll have gone around the park three times, even though I didn't start Strava until I'd already went around once. I forgot to start it. Not that it's super important, but I like to keep up with my activities a little bit just to, to make sure that I'm doing something to have a little bit of accountability and uh, using an app like Strava, RunKeeper, Runtastic, whatever 
whatever app you choose to use it's a good way to keep keep on track with what you're doing when it's all said and done really I just want to be happy I want to have that joy that I used to have years ago I want to have them in more of the mentality that I had years ago, the charm, the charisma. Like I don't, I don't have any of that anymore, you know, or if I do, it just comes in random spurts. <laughs> so, let's keep walking. Whenever all you do is ride a bicycle or swim, it's good to try to get on your feet a little bit. Uh, helps to keep your bones strong. Uh, whenever you're riding bikes and are swimming all the time, you have nearly no impact on your body. And it can actually get weaker. Uh, not only your bones, but tendons and muscles and ligaments and and uh, not only that, but doing a different uh, movement such as walking or jogging puts new stress and strain. On your body and your muscles and all that and your heart and your lungs that you're not experiencing with the other sports uh, so it's good to mix things up periodically and I don't do it enough at all like I'll go I'll go months and not do something like this ride my bike sit at my desk, sit at my recliner, go to bed, bus, bicycle, etc, etc, and don't do anything. So, it's good if you can get out and make yourself put in, you know, maybe two, three miles or so a week by walking. I can't really jog because my back and Recently, over the past couple of years, my right hip and my right knee's not not great. It hadn't been good since I was in my 20s. From construction, just like my back, up and down walls and ladders and jumping and lifting heavy stuff. And so, and my feet aren't great either. So, I don't do a lot of walking, no jogging. That's why cycling is really my sport. And also, you know, I grew up loving bikes and wanted to ride bikes as an adult and I finally just made myself do it. Out of want and necessity. Fixing to be back at the car here. <laughs> 